everybody it's Gabby and it is time to take it back from the actual like you hauls and re reviews today I'm actually gonna be doing the makeup book tag and I was not tagged by anybody I just figured that I would do it on my own I really do enjoy doing makeup but I'm not an, I'm not amazing at it by any means or even that great but I thought this would be fun <laughs> The first few questions on here, I'm looking through them, and I don't typically use primer, but one of the things that I just got is, um, it, I don't know if you can see that, it's Bye Bye Pores, the Illumination, and I absolutely love this. I just started using it the other day, but basically what you do is you put it on over first, at least that's how I do it, and it does kind of diminish it. So the first one is primer. Pick a book that left a lasting impression. And I feel like for that one, it was definitely a Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. And I feel like because of everything that was going on while I was reading it, my Nana was actually going through pancreatic cancer treatments while I was reading it. And it was actually one of those days where she was having a difficult time with her treatments. So I feel like it definitely took it home for me. It's actually really hard to do while I'm talking. So I definitely enjoyed that and obviously like reading that and then kind of seeing my Nana right after, it definitely lasted on me because the message behind that book is like everything that he, the kid is going through and it's his anger that is developing. I mean at least that's what I figured with the monster. So that would be the book that last, that took a lasting impression on me. The next question is, foundation pick your favorite first book in a series. Uh, I haven't really read that many series, but I'm going to probably go with Dark Lover by J.R. Ward. It's part of the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. I absolutely love this series. Oh, and by the way, for this foundation, I'm using Tarte, Amazon, and Clay. I usually don't use both a powder and a foundation, so we'll see how this goes. I just really, really liked that whole series, and that's the first book that I read from the series. I mean, obviously, it's number one, but I really just, I don't know, there was something about the character development, the way that there were, they were struggling with the whole concept of Beth being part human, part vampire, and Wrath, which I think that's how you pronounce it, he has to kind of protect her from the Lessening Society. I don't know, it's just one of those books that it, if you are interested in the whole supernatural thing, it is interesting. I mean, it's definitely an interesting concept. I think the characters in there, you don't see a lot of all the other brotherhood but you do meet them and then in the other books you get to actually really fall in love with them, with them so that's always nice so I would say that is the book next one is concealer which I usually don't use concealer but today for this video only I'm going to be using it I'm going to be using the erase paste by benefit this one is number one fair and it is pick a character you wish you could get rid of oh geez this is always the hardest part because the books that I usually read, I really like all of the characters. I would say this is awful. I would say probably Bella from the Twilight series. I know that the Twilight series are pretty much revolved around Bella, but I just think that she was very whiny and I haven't read those books since they first came out, so I am going off of like my memory on this one, but she was probably the worst character that I've ever met. I mean, the whole, I mean, the whole premises of Twilight too, like thinking back to it, you have a vampire who's basically stalking you and he's pretty much like an old man. Yeah, I would say Bella, a character, yeah. I wish I could get rid of Bella. Alright, the next one is Powder. Pick your favorite last book in a series. Well, considering I have not really read that many series, this is going to be a little difficult. I think the only series that I've actually like read all the way through was Twilight. And because all the other series that I've, I'm currently reading, I'm like either nowhere, like halfway finished with the series or not finished with them. I don't even know. Hmm. I'm not sure. Plus, I'm going to skip the powder, so we're just going to skip right on over that question, too. Alright, eyebrows. I do my eyebrows last, so that question's going to go to the end. Eyeshadow. 
So my eyeshadow, I do <laughs> like a ridiculous thing with, so I'm going to do it really like, like simple today. Eyeshadow is pick a book that has your favorite colors on the cover. My favorite color is pink, and I usually don't have a lot of books that have pink on the cover, but I guess Flowers in the Attic by V.C. Andrews has pink on the cover. I'm trying to think of like what other books I have. I think it's like The Perfect Neighbors has pink on the cover. I'm like peeking at my bookcase behind me. You know, pretty much any romance novel has pink on it somewhere, so we'll go with We'll just stick with Flyers in the Attic. I haven't read it yet. It's still on my bookcase, so obviously that's there. I did just get a new book, which will be in my December haul video, which is going to be like epically long. But I picked out a new book, and it's so pretty, but you'll see it. And I think it has pink on it, or it's like a rosy gold or something. This is taking me a really, really long time, and I can never get this one finished. I don't know how makeup gurus do this. Like... They must be really, I guess they only do one eye, and then they don't talk throughout the whole thing, and they just do it, like, really quickly, and I'm rushing now at this point. So now that that's done, I can do the next part, which is eyeliner. So eyeliner is pick a dark and mysterious book. So I don't know if this would necessarily mean that it would be like a thriller. A dark and mysterious book. I did just read Dying for Christmas, and although the cover is not super dark, it was definitely a dark and mysterious book. This woman gets kidnapped on Christmas Eve, and... She's kidnapped by this beautiful man named, I think his name is Dominic Lacey, and her name is Jessica Gold, and throughout the entire time it bounces back and forth between what happens in this room, or rather this apartment, and Dominic Lacey is pretty much a psychopath, like legitimately a psychopath. He does all this, like all these things to her, and I mean from having, making her sleep in a dog kennel and tying or clamping her ankle down so that she can't escape and then she's learning all these things that happened throughout his childhood because each day which by the way he does like the 12 days of Christmas and he starts it on Christmas Eve and each day she opens up a new gift some of the things that she opens up she opens up uh, toothbrushes or brushes or something like that and he tells her a story behind that and it's just really really twisted so I would say that it's I mean, I guess it's dark and mysterious, if you will. So, that's for the eyeliner. So, the next question is mascara. Pick a long book. I have the perfect one for this because I just finished it. I just finished it by Stephen King. It is 1,155 pages, and it took me about a month to read, and I did bounce back and forth between the audiobook and the actual book of it. If I had not done that, I probably would still only be on like page 400 or something like ridiculous like that. No, actually, I was on page like 500 when I first got the audiobook. So I would say I would probably still be on like 600 a month in. But it's insane because all the things that happen, some of it does get... Oh, I just blotted that. That's unfortunate. Some of the things that happen in the book, you don't realize until you get to like the very end, but it's it, it gets... It got kind of repetitive, which I guess true Stephen King style, he does get really wordy, but there were certain parts in there that I thought was overly long and it could have been a little bit of a shorter book. I feel like my makeup is not coming out how I usually do it. Let me blend in a little bit more. So I'm just going to blend because I feel like it just looks awful right now. I mean, it doesn't always look this terrible. I feel like my eyeliner is like ridiculous. Okay, so the next question is blush. Pick a book that has some cringe-worthy romance. <laughs> Any of the Deirdre Martin books are like that. They, I, I mean, any romance not like, designated romance novels that you would find in the romance section are going to be cringe, 
cringe worthy because it's a romance novel, I guess. I don't know. So I guess like if I had to pick a specific one, I mean, 12 Days of Christmas by Debra Debbie McComber, as as good as it was, it definitely did have some cringeworthy. Oh, actually, no. City of Bones has some cringeworthy romance because I think his name is Cole. Clay, maybe, and Clary, whatever, Clary and Jace. They, some of the things that they do and some of the things that happen between them, I don't know. I just don't know. Highlighter, pick a book that brightened your day. Honestly, the book that brightened my day the most, it was probably Pieces of Happily Ever After by Irene Zutel because the ending of that book was just so cute. It follows this character, I can't remember what her name is because it's been so long, but it care it follows a character who her husband has left her for another woman. And by the way, I'm about to do some contour because I can't do highlighter and not do a little bit of contour. But it basically follows this woman and her husband has left her for an actress because he is a lawyer and she has a daughter named Gabby, which might be why I really liked this book. You know, you always like seeing your name in a book, right? Or is it just me? But the daughter Gabby, and she kind of is a little brat, and she's a little bit more advanced than a five-year-old should be, but it was just really cute because at the end, the daughter basically tells her that no matter what her mother gives her or doesn't give her at the end of the day, as long as she has her, then she's set. And that's just like a feel-good thing. Next thing is lipstick. Your favorite book, Kiss. I usually wear lip gloss. I think all my lipsticks are gone. Um, well, we'll just go with this one. So, my favorite book kiss would probably have to be... So, my favorite book kiss would probably have to be Rage and Mary from the Black Dagger Brotherhood series because when they finally kiss, it's just so great. He's like considered Hollywood out of all the vampires. Uh, or the Brotherhood rather and she's just like little meek woman and it's just great and this was Girly by Laura Mercier in case you wanted to know. Alright so going back to the brows because you can't go without having your brows in. I'm going to be using Urban Decay Brow Box. So the eyebrow question is a book you think everyone should read. Oh goodness, a book I think everyone should read. Hmm, there's a, like I have a bunch. I think The Book Thief was definitely a good one. I'm kind of cheating because I'm going to have multiples. The Book Thief was good. The Black Tiger Brotherhood series. I mean, honestly, if everybody just reads that, it's like honestly the best, the best vampire series I've read. And I, I do have one other series, like vampire series, and it's the Laurel K. It's by Laurel K. Hamilton and the Blake series. But that's like a vampire hunter, sort of. Well, she's not even a vampire hunter. She's like a vampire slayer. Well, she's not even a slayer. She's, she's, a, she's an animator, which means that she brings to life, brings back, brings people back to life to find things out for cases, which is such a great explanation of what it is. But anyways, everybody should read the Black Dagger Brotherhood series because it's great and the characters are amazing and it's it's a different take on vampires and there's the Lessening Society which is a cool little concept of an enemy for vampires because in this the vampires don't interact with humans unless totally necessary which happens with some of the characters but not all of them. So obviously it, it's, it works. So yeah. So this and this brow is not really working oh my goodness this is crazy and so that was like my quick little makeup tag that i wasn't tagged in that i tagged myself in because i can do that i will probably get this upload i think this will probably be the one that i upload next week so i, I did this a week prior because i'm gonna try to get ahead of the ball game with that so if you haven't done the makeup tag Go ahead and do it because it's amazing and it's fun and hopefully you check out the books that I have recommended although they are more recent reads because I have really short memory of certain books so hopefully it went well enough. I'm gonna head on to editing some videos and hopefully posting some soon so see you later.